In this video, we are going to learn how to solve limit of a function, turn it to a real number, with Casio calculator easily, in a matter of seconds, especially for multiple choice questions. Now, after going through this video, we will be able to solve limit of a function, turn it to a real number easily, with Casio FS, Nanawai ES plus calculator. In a matter of seconds, especially for multiple choice questions. So stay with me to the end of this video. Okay, let's begin. Now note that whenever the limit of a function is tending to a real number, always add the constant 0 0.001 to the real number is tending to and store it as x in the calculator. Very, very important. So take note of this point. Okay. Let's look at the examples I have here and solve them together. Example 1 here says, evaluate the limit, limit x tending to 4, where we have the numerator values to be x square minus x minus 12, and the denominator values to be x minus 4. So right now, let's bring the calculator to solve this problem together. Okay, the first thing we're going to do will be to clear the calculator. Very, very important. The essence of clearing the calculator is to avoid unnecessary error because you might not remember whether you have performed a previous calculation on the calculator. So to clear your doubts and to be at the safe side, you advise to clear your calculator. And to do that, you simply press Shift button 9 and follow the instruction we want to clear or oh, press 3 and press equal to press equal to again. So we have cleared the calculator. The next thing we are going to do now will be to add 0 0.001 to this 4 and store the value as x in the calculator. So let's do it. That's 4 plus 0 0.001. So we're going to store this value. If you like, and change it to a decimal value like this. So we are going to store this value now as x in the calculator. To do that, you simply press Shift. This I will say button stands for store. Then the S button. So once you do it, it will indicate here that this value answer has been stored as x in the calculator. So you wipe this. So what we're going to do now will be to impute these values we have here in the calculator. So it's in fraction, let's go. So we have x squared there to bring out x in the calculator. You press alpha first before pressing x. So you press alpha x. If you just press x alone without pressing alpha, X will not come out unless we press alpha first before pressing X. So take note of this point. So we have X square minus X alpha X minus 12 all over X alpha X minus 4. So that's it. We are done. Let's now press the quarter and see what we are going to get as an answer. So let's change this value into a decimal value. We press SD. So we have 0, 7.001 as an answer. 7.001. So you cannot approximate this value. So automatically, our answer is 7, which is option D. It's as simple as that. Okay, let's solve example two together. Okay, example two here says, evaluate the limit, limit x tending to one. Here we have the numerator values to be sq minus one and the denominator values to be s minus one. So right now, what we are going to do now will be to clear the calculator because we are going to store a new value in the calculator which is 1. So 
let's clear the calculator which is prepare shift button 9 and follow the instruction 3 equal to equal to again so we have cleared the calculator so let's add 0 0.001 to this one and store the value we get as x in the calculator so we have 1 plus 0 0.001 so let's store this value as s to store a press shift this i will see the button and the alphabet x so once you do it you will see here uh, indicating that this value has been stored as x in the calculator so you wipe it so right now let's impute the values we have here as a question in the calculator so it's in fashion we have s cube which is upper x make use of this power button and come down minus one all over s minus one which is upper x minus one let's press equal to we have three point zero zero three zero Zero one. So this value cannot be approximated. So automatically our answer is theory, which is option D. So it's as simple as that. Very, very easy. Just follow the steps I've shown you and solve any similar question you are given. You will definitely get the right answer. So right now we are going to solve a different version of this kind of question. And after it, we call it a class. Okay. Example 2 here says, Evaluate the limit. Limit x tending to pi. Where we have the numerator value to return x over the denominator value, which is sign 2x. So right now, let's bring the calculator and solve this problem together. Okay. As usual, the first thing we are going to do will be to Clear the calculator to avoid unnecessary error because we're going to store a new value in the calculator. So, to do that, you press Shift button 9 and follow the instruction theory report again. So, right now, we are going to add before we add 0 0.001 to pi, we have to put our calculator in reduce mode because of these trigonometry signs we have here so we will not solve this question with the calculator being degree we have to change it in radius to get the correct answer and to put the calculator in radius mode you simply press shift mode button category 4 is radius you press 4 so it's not a radius right now let's go ahead and store the value of 0 0.001 plus pi in the calculator. So let's go, we have 0 0.001 plus pi. To bring up pi, we press shift. Pi is here, this button. So that's the press equal to. So let's store this value as x in the calculator. To store it, press shift or this S button. So once you do it, it will indicate here that this value has been stored as X in the calculator. So let's wipe it and impute the question in the calculator. So we have there tan X, which is tan S alpha X. We close the brackets all over sine 2 X. So we have sine two x alpha x. We close the bracket. So that's what we have there. So right now, let's press record and see what we get as an answer. Zero point five. So zero point five is the same thing as one over two. So our answer to this question is option C, which is one over two. It's as simple as that. 
So this is basically how you can solve limits of a function tending to every number with Casio calculator. Is as simple as that. Just make sure you add the constant 0 0.001 to any number the limit is tending to and use it to evaluate or substitute the question. It's very, very simple. So that's it for this class, guys. We have come to the end of this class. I hope I taught this topic very well. If you are new to your channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel for more of our videos. Also, like, share, and comment on this video to tell me how you feel about what you have learned in this class. If you seem to have any specific questions regarding what I have taught in this class, feel free to leave your question in the comment section below and I will ensure to give you a response. Also, check out for my video on how to solve limit at infinity. I did a nice explanation in that video. Limit at infinity, at infinity of rational fractions. So check it out guys, you will learn a lot. Thanks guys for watching this video.